several weeks ago um, after the declaration of a level four drought response, I requested from staff to begin uh, an analysis of our uh, situation with respect to the drought, our current reservoir capability and production capability, our current water storage and uh, future water resources. I'm, I'm pleased to report we've got over 200 days of raw water uh, storage, but the imposition of the additional restrictions uh, will require us to take additional measures for conservation and curtailment. And as I've indicated, we began this process several weeks ago not anticipating that these additional restrictions would be forthcoming so quickly, uh, but given the implementation of the additional 10% reduction, I've provided you with, a, with an update of a, a number of different action items and initiatives and actions that have already been taken to begin the process of further conservation measures, and I'd like to go over those with you briefly. Uh, yesterday, I had the opportunity to do a presentation to the Chamber of Commerce on our SPLOS program and transportation needs. Part of that discussion also included uh, the, the issue of the drought and water conservation measures in Fayette County, and we will be developing a partnership with the Chamber of Commerce along with our local industries and businesses to uh, discuss additional opportunities in the business sector for conservation measures. That was followed up with a meeting today of all of the municipal representatives in Fayette County, as well as representatives from the Board of Education the Hospital, um, our uh, corporate users that use large quantity Hoshizaki, uh, as well as several other entities that use large quantities of water in the county to begin a dialogue on opportunities for conservation within that sector. I'm pleased to report that there's a very productive meeting between the municipalities and our corporate partners and uh, business community in Fayette County. And we've developed a subcommittee that's going to begin to develop a uniform and consistent public education uh, message and campaign that will be coordinated by all the municipalities and the county so that we're sending the same message, uh, same educational information throughout our community and asking our citizens to further conserve uh, this resource. We have been in the process for the last several weeks in going through the identification of irrigation systems that may or may not be in compliance with the current restrictions that have been imposed. A number of those have been identified. Uh, we have shut those irrigation systems off. These are irrigation systems, quite frankly, that are like at the entrances of subdivisions for decorative shrubbery and those kinds of things, and we have locked those meters. We still believe that there are some additional opportunities out there with respect to irrigation systems and shutting those down. And we're also asking for uh, voluntary compliance in doing so for many businesses that may have uh, irrigation systems. We are taking a look at, uh, and, and I have authorized the County Marshal's Office to implement some different shift schedules to allow for full 24-hour uh, patrol of our community. Um, there have been some reports of non-compliance, especially during the hours between midnight and 5 a.m. Uh, that's unfortunate. But this will give us the capability to identify those areas and issue appropriate warnings and or citations to those who choose to not follow the requirements of the outdoor water bath. All county staff have been instructed to discontinue washing any vehicles. In fact, this has been in effect for several weeks now. Um, unless it creates a public safety hazard to the tune to the point to where our reflective scribing becomes obscured so I would beg the citizens um, consideration of the fact that they may see dirty fire trucks, dirty ambulances, and or law enforcement vehicles out there, but it's in the spirit of conserving water. And we'll do that to the best of our ability without impeding the public safety or endanger our public safety employees on our roadways when they're working accidents or have vehicles pulled over. <coughs> All county irrigation systems and meters have been turned off to prevent any uh, accidental uh, irrigation issues from a county perspective. 
I had a staff meeting this morning and communicated with all department heads and division directors the absolute necessity that the employees of Fayette County should be examples for our community and good stewards of water resources and to conserve uh, at all opportunities water resources while they're at work. We've had initial conversations with the Comcast uh, Corporation regarding uh, placing trailers on our local cable channels as well as actually producing uh, public information regarding conservation opportunities for our citizens and the information regarding our water system and production capabilities, information to assist homeowners in that respect. We've had conversations with the Board of Education on implementation measures that the Board of Education can utilize. Uh, one of those is that there are opportunities for using paper products versus dishes during lunchtime. Similar opportunities exist with our restaurants throughout the community, and those are the areas that we will begin to focus on requesting uh, assistance with. Our current ordinance for the enforcement of violations associated with uh, the watering ban are, are fairly weak. We are looking at the ordinance, and we are Make, and we'll be bringing forth to you some recommendations with respect to the current ordinance. There's a dual purpose reason for that. Number one, the fines associated with our current ordinance are minimal at best. But more importantly, is the uniformity of enforcement throughout our community. We do have areas within the city of Fayetteville that the county water system services. Um, and we could have situations where a different standard is being applied to citizens within the city of Fayetteville. We want to ensure that we have a uniform standard throughout the community. Um, I'm pleased to say that all of the other managers from the municipal governments were at our meeting today. Uh, they're on board. Uh, they have assigned members of their staff to our subcommittee, our conservation subcommittee that will begin to develop educational materials and brochures. Our website will become a focal point for the dissemination of that information for our citizens. Clearly, the, the local media uh, will also be involved in this process and uh, extend to them an invitation to participate with our subcommittee in the development of this educational publication of educational materials regarding further conservation efforts within our community. There are a host of other opportunities and initiatives that we will be addressing as the months go forward uh, with respect uh, usage of uh, water efficient devices is clearly an area I think where we can make some significant improvements. And um, just out of the box thinking about what else we can do regarding conservation measures. I'm also pleased to report that uh, our corporate partners that are at our meeting today are very attuned to the situation. They're concerned, as we are concerned. Uh, they have instituted and are instituting efforts within their own local industries to cut their consumption of water to the greatest extent possible. In fact, in speaking with a representative from Hoshisaki Corporation, and I commend them, their target goal is a 40% reduction in water usage next year. That's an overview of some of the initiatives that are underway for us to meet our targeted reduction requirements. More information will be forthcoming within the next week from the Environmental Protection Division with clarification on exactly what that target goal is and how that target goal is measured. I'd be glad to answer any questions the board may have.